happy festivities. How is everybody? Are you surviving the week? Not long to go. So today it's just me in my kitchen. Might be joined by someone from the fam, hopefully. If they get out of bed. Yeah, they will, won't they? Uh, so I thought what I'd do is I'd just show you a couple of little things from my festive e-guide. Because of course you can download an e-guide at any time. Yeah, even on the big day, if you've forgotten something. So it's got lots of recipes and fun ideas. So I thought it'd be nice to join you for a chat. Let's have a bit of chit chat. If you've got festive questions, you can pop them in the comments. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Joe. Hi, nice to see you. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Kathy. Lovely. Good afternoon to you, Lynn. Very nice to see you all. So I have got one of my Christmas dresses on. This is Carol McEwen who is just such a lovely lady. She is a one-man band. She doesn't even have a website. So if you want to know about her things, you have to follow her on Instagram, Carol McEwen. I'll pop a link when I do a caption after. And then you just get on her mailing list. And when she makes things, then she sends out a little email. So I just love this. I love this kind of shirt dress. And of course it has pockets. Don't we love pockets? I think I need to start a pocket campaign. Why don't all women's clothing? have pockets. Guys have pockets. Every pair of trousers have a pocket. What is it with skirts and dresses, hey? Who else is with me? Hi, Julianne. Lovely to see you. Merry Christmas to you and the fam. This is very nice. We are going to get Facebook going in the moment. Um, I've just got to get enough charge in my phone. <laughs> it's one of those times when you just, everything kind of gets um, a little bit out of sorts. But do you know what? The key thing is to keep calm and carry on and we, oops, and we just breathe, don't we? We just breathe. I always say to my kids, you know, if there's no blood and there's nothing broken, then it's okay. So long may that last. We want no trips to A&E over Christmas. Quite right. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too. Nice to see you. You're in South Africa, are you? Craft's sake, brilliant. Bet it's warmer there than it is here. Well, I can't complain here. We have the most beautiful glorious winter day down here in the West Country. So I am back here for the festivities. I've got the whole fam descending. So I've got actually some of these, some of these left over from my Christmas carol concert, the charity carol concert, which will, just a word of warning, if you want to put a diary date, save the date for next year. I've got to confirm it with the church, but I'm really hoping it'll be the first Wednesday of December, which I think is Wednesday the 6th of December from memory. So 2023, is that right? <laughs> Pretty sure that's when it's gonna be. So please pop it in your diary. It was a sellout this year and it was such a lot of fun. I hope you saw all my stories. I have got something I think that's still on my Instagram grid over on Liz Me if you want to take a look, but it is really fun. So I'd love to see lots of you there. It's a great opportunity to meet with people in real life that maybe you only connect with here on the Instagram. Anyway, these are turmeric mince pies. You'll find the recipe in my e-guide. If you want this, it's called A Healthy Happy Christmas. And it's a guide that I wrote a few years ago. I actually wrote it for my girls because I love Christmas, as you know, and I have lots of traditional Christmas family recipes, things that my mum made, that my grandma made, ideas that we did for making Christmas decorations, for the best mulled wine recipe, the bread sauces, the puddings, all of that, what to do with Christmas Day leftovers, how to ease into the new year, making turkey bone broth and all of that kind of thing. You will find that all in here. So I did it really for my girls, and then my team, my clever team at Lizard Wellbeing, turned it into a download. So it's an ebook that you can get on lizardwellbeing.com. And of course, you can get an ebook at any time, no postage. Do not have to rely on postal strikes. Anybody else waiting for deliveries? Yeah, hands up. I keep getting notifications from people that I've ordered from saying, we're really sorry, but it might not come till after Christmas. So I think there's gonna be a lot of IOUs under the Christmas tree. Anyway that you can get immediately. And of course, all the other e-guides. So we've got e-guides for things like Healthy Slimmer You, sorry, Stronger Slimmer You. We've got the Gut Health Guide. We've got Brain. We've got uh, Natural Immunity. Uh, what else have we got? There's an exercise one. There, of course, is a menopause one. There's one which is specifically on HRT called The Truth About HRT. So that is really good. If anybody is still questioning, you know, I get questions all the time about that. So that's why I wrote a specific e-guide. So if that's you or if that's someone you know, do please download that and enjoy the read over the Christmas time when you've perhaps got a little bit more time. Great to see you all. My goodness, so many of us. So today what I thought I would do 
is I would pick something really simple from here, which hopefully everybody will enjoy, every member of the family, that's easy to do, that you can do it any time of year, actually, it's not just for Christmas. And it is the dark hot chocolate with sea salt. So if you've got your e-guide, you will find it on page 27, okay? So I'm gonna start by using real chocolate. So I've actually got some chocolate here that I bought ages ago from one of my favorite chocolate, British chocolate makers, Solcombe Dairy. Family run down in Solcombe. I've been down there. My lovely photographer, Lainey, and I were filming down there not that long ago and stayed with the family. And it was just so lovely to connect with them and to hear their story. They use grass-fed milk from local cattle. Literally, you can see the cattle in the field and the milk comes straight into their dairy in Solcombe and they hand make everything. They've got an amazing chocolate guru who blends all the couverture and, and the chocolate and in fact they do things like this this is a little hamper box that I've got and they do if you want if you want to cheat you can get their own blend of hot chocolate this actually is milk chocolate orange drinking chocolate so if you love those Terry's chocolate orange this is like that in a mug it's brilliant and then they do these little boxes here of Christmas flavoured chocolates and look like chocolate library. Isn't that cool? So this one has got in it, for example, it's got Christmas pudding flavoured chocolate. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and they did give us a 10% discount. I'm not sure if that's still valid. But anyway, they're a great British brand to support. So I have got here their dark chocolate. So I'm using dark chocolate and this one is 72%. So it's really quite dark. And the great thing about dark chocolate is not only is it lower in sugar, but it's higher in polyphenols. So the polyphenols are those gut-friendly nutrients that our gut bugs just love. So it is a positive superfood. So not only are you giving yourself a treat when you have real dark chocolate, you're actually treating your microbiome as well. So I've used 50 grams. And what I've done over here is I've actually just melted some already. I'm sorry, Facebook. We will be with Facebook in a while, but what we'll do actually is we will post this on Facebook so our Facebook friends can see the whole thing. Okay, so I have melted that. It's quite hot. You see, just in a, just use a pan of hot water, pop that in there just to melt it. So I'm going to use that as my starting point. And then I am going to, uh, I'm going to tip that hot water away because I actually need the saucepan now. I hope you can see. Have I got this? Let me tilt my phone down a little bit and then you can see. Thanks for all your waves. Thanks for your hearts. Sending hearts back. Lovely to see you. Hope everyone's feeling festive. Uh, so, okay, so I've got my saucepan here. So into that, I am going to put my melted chocolate. I have my spoon at the ready. So I'm gonna pop that in, and then I'm going to use milk. I'm gonna use about 500 ml, so about half a litre of milk. So this is gonna make enough for four. Uh, or two greedy people, whichever, or one super greedy person. <laughs> you can actually drink this cold, like cold chocolate milk. My kids love chocolate milk, especially my youngest. And, you know, and I think if you're gonna do something like that, let's do something that actually has lots of goodness in it. So milk, one of my favorites, obviously very high in calcium, good levels of protein, it's very nutritious. I'm very lucky down here in the West Country, we have local dairies that get milk from uh, their cows that graze out on the grass and I buy mine in uh, refillable glass bottles. There are more of these popping up all over the country. In fact, I think on Is Our Wellbeing, we did put a little map of all the milk vending machines that you can now get, which is really good. So I've got my milk, so I've already measured it out. So I've got half a litre here of milk, but you could use a plant alternative if you don't want to use real milk. So that is your choice. So I just wipe up my spill. Okay, so in there I have simply melted chocolate and milk. And then I'm gonna add some cacao powder. Now cacao powder is the actual dried powder from the cacao pod. The cacao pod is the one that gets fermented and made into cocoa. So I use this, I buy this from a brand called Naturia, which is a British brand, but you can go online or into your local health food shop and you will find cacao, okay? So I'm going to use in here, what's the recipe say, two tablespoons of cacao powder. Now this is unsweetened, so there's no sugar in this. I think you'll be quite surprised if you buy commercial hot chocolate in a tub. Not only is it quite expensive, but you will also find that it has lots of added sugar and sometimes other things as well. So I'm going to use two 
tablespoons of that. So my lovely assistant Lainey is setting up Facebook. Are we live on Facebook? We're gonna go live, great, that's good. Let's hope this works. I'll give them a bit of a catch up, that's okay. So, oh, Lenny Sweetheart, I think it says it's the wrong way around, so I think you might need just to change the caption. Yeah, let's just do it, we have to do it. So it goes the other way, otherwise it's that way. <laughs> so bear with us, it is Christmas, cut us some slack, okay? I'm actually gonna do a little life hack recording this afternoon, all about that, all about being kind to yourself because there's so much going on, so many external stresses. And we forget, don't we, in December, that frankly, we've only got three weeks to do it all anyway, because it's kind of a short month. You think, oh, I've got, you know, it's the end of December, but of course it's not really. And then you add into that, you know, all the strikes, the train strikes and the postal strikes and all the other stresses and the work deadlines and everybody seems to say that they want everything done for Christmas. You know, everything. I had Lily doing a house move, you know, and we were trying to get it all done before Christmas. And we're kind of, we're kind of part way there. She's actually camping with me at the moment, which I love. I think she's not thrilled about it. She'd like to be in her, in her new place. Thank you, darling. We just, whoops. Let's just put that on there. We'll get Facebook up and running because it'd be a shame if they missed out. Okay, so I think hopefully that will work. And our friends on Facebook will be with us. Oh no, it still says it's the wrong way around. Let's just see whether we can do it. Um, will it do that, I wonder? I think that will do. <laughs> I think Lenny's gonna go and check it on Facebook. Sorry, Facebook, we've had a few technical issues this morning. Um, so the green juice lady, she's saying, I'm here we are, hopefully we're still going, we're still going. Yeah, hopefully we're still going. Yeah, you just started using raw milk. So delicious and way, way better for you. Yeah, you can only buy it direct from farms. Um, but yeah, if you are near a raw milk supplier, then brilliant and has been shown to be really beneficial for, for the gut. So Instagram is still working. That's good. Is it working? So am I the right way around? Can I, okay, can I, can I turn it around? What happens? I don't think I can, can I? If I, if I turn it, hi Shirley, hi Terry. Nice to see you on Facebook. Okay, if I turn you that way, I don't think I can turn it when I'm recording. Have I gone? No, I, I've gone on, I've gone sideways. Okay, so Facebook, bear with. Um, bit of catch up. So sorry to have you joining us late, but I'm making hot chocolate, real hot chocolate with sea salt for Christmas because it's a family favorite. And the recipe, you will find it. I mean, I'll obviously give you the recipe right now but it is in my e-guide, which is called A Happy Healthy Christmas. And this is an e-guide that I wrote actually for my girls a few Christmases ago, because I love Christmas and it's been a big tradition in my family and I've got recipes from my grandma and from my mom and things that we've made. I remember making as a child and I thought I want to put it all together so that they've got it for their future and their families and they can take it away and keep it forever. So we've crammed loads in here, everything for Christmas, everything from pre-Christmas, you know, Christmas Eve, decorations using natural botanical ingredients, lots of things for the big day if you want the ultimate mulled wine recipe, bread sauce, Christmas pudding, mince pies, cranberry sauce, what to do with your leftovers on Boxing Day, making turkey curries, all of that. And then of course, New Year, stepping into perhaps a lighter way of eating, a bit of brome broth and other things like that. Anyway, it's all in here. So it's on lizardwellbeing.com under e-guides. And of course, you don't have to rely on the post. No, we can actually get it immediately as a download. Anyway, so that is what I'm doing. So this, I've just melted some real chocolate, some dark chocolate. I'm using this one, which is a 72% dark chocolate. So really good levels of polyphenols, which are very gut health friendly and of course low sugar. I have got half a litre of milk, but you could use a plant-based um, processed you know, alternative if you wanted. And I'm also using some organic cacao powder. And this is the unsweetened, literally just ground up natural cacao pod. This is a British brand, Naturia. I just got this from my health food shop. I'm using two tablespoons of that. Did I put one in or two? I can't remember. I think I only put one in. Should I put another one in? Do you remember on Instagram? Got distracted. <laughs> uh, Barbie says, I'm traveling to the UK on Thursday for Christmas. Can't wait to collect all my Liz loves that I've been ordering. How amazing. 
I wonder what you're getting, Bobby. Do tell us. I'd love to hear. Uh, yeah. So, I think... Oh, I did do two. Did I? Excellent. Thank you. I'm glad someone's paying attention. So, okay, so in here I have milk, I have dark chocolate, and I have my cacao. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to melt these together. I might need an assistant. Is there an assistant in the house? I'm sure I saw. Did I see an assistant? Can you need an assistant? I'd love an assistant. Come. I heard you talking about chocolate. <laughs> so I thought I'd come and see you. I didn't oh. realise you were live. Hi, everyone. <laughs> My lovely girl. Oh, dear. It's been a bit stressful. I'm going to put you to work a bit in a minute. Stressful. Do, you want, do you want to tell them what happened? Uh, we've moved house. Moved house, which in itself is stressful. Yes. Okay, in very itself. Stressful. And what happened? And we're not fully in. Not yes, fully in. We're not fully which in. Which is why yet. they're camping here, but they went yep. to check on it yesterday. And what happened? There was water pouring through the ceiling. Pipes burst. The pipes burst pipes in the frost. And so we walked in, and there was water pouring into the kitchen. Everything. Everything. There's now plaster coming off the walls. It will be fine. We'll fix it. It will be fine. But it, we've got. Just, it will be fine. So this you morning know? we were up at eight o'clock. This morning, plumber, electric, because the electrics All went. There. The alarm, like the alarm system, went hay haywire because of the water. Oh, sweetheart. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. But at least you got were there. Got dehumidifier going. Oh yeah, no, because there's no, because obviously we haven't fully moved in yet. So we you weren't, weren't due to be there. We weren't due to be there. We were Imagine. only there going there for a meeting. <gasps> Wow. Is so, it an old house? Yes, it is. It's 17th it's century. Uh, the, uh, uh, parts of it are 17th century, so it's a stone, thick stone walled cottage yeah. type thing. But, but do you know, I was just saying to our friends it's here. So hot. That's my husband, by the way, he's saying that. <laughs> oh, hi, Harry. That's so kind of you to tell, talk about your mother in law like that. I'm really, I'm really touched. You know, thanks so much. Um, I was just saying, actually, that it is a stressful time and obviously loads of extra stresses do get loaded on us and you have to breathe and keep calm. But, you know, if there's no blood and it's not broken and we're not heading to A&E and it's OK mm. and we can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. That, like the, I'm married to a decorator. And you're married to somebody who's very handy. <laughs> in the household department. Now, I'm actually gonna put you to work, and okay. chat. All right. So, I just what need that stirred. Okay, I can do that. Can you do that? So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, not not too hot. Don't let it burn or boil. Okay. Because basically, the, the, the cacao powder's just got to melt. Um, oh, with, with the, I've already melted the chocolate, but it's just got to kind of do the rest of it. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness, I'm fueled on coffee. Who else is fueled on coffee? I had a really early start, and it was just like, <gasps> coffee, coffee, coffee. Uh, so what we should be doing, of course, is uh, playing some Christmas tunes. Don't know if you're a fan of Christmas music. I've been playing my Christmas tunes probably since well, September. I September. Not quite September. <laughs> it might have felt like September. No, I do. I limit myself, but literally November the sixth. You know, as soon as the sparklers have been put away, that's it. I'm fast track Christmas. And a couple of years ago, I created the Lizzo Wellbeing Christmas playlist. And it's on Spotify, it's completely free. You can download it if you want to, if you've got a Spotify account, or I think you can sign in as a guest. Take a look, you'll find it under Liz Our Wellbeing. And it's all my favorite Christmas tunes. I was wrapping Christmas presents last night till quite late, and I put it on, I just had it on my phone, just playing, just by myself, and just having a really nice time, just party for one. But just to say, okay, this is a little quiz. There is one track on that list that's a bit rogue. Okay, it's a bit rogue. So I wonder if you can spot it. So if you want some festive tunes, if you're in the car, on the train, traveling at home, wrapping presents, making your mince pies, whatever, do put it on. Let me know what you think. You can always drop me a comment on the main grid. I don't do direct message, but I do do comments. So either here or on Liz or me. Let me know if you download it. Same on Facebook and YouTube. You can leave me a message. And uh, I'd love to know if you spot the rogue track. But I tell you, we're going to be playing it loud and proud all over Christmas. And everybody's going to be fed up with it. But I love it. <laughs> oh, Amelia, nice to see you. You've got a six-month-old. Do you know, you, well done for just being up and breathing and dressed, frankly. Forget everything else. You know, let's not stress too much. I was beginning to get stressed last night about, you know, my different coloured wrapping paper and... You know, what was I going to put on the Christmas table and did I have enough chocolate coins and, you know, all of that stuff. And it was actually, do you know what? 
we just need to take a moment because it's actually about time. Time is the most precious thing. It's about time for ourselves in all of this. It's about time for others. It's about giving the gift of time. You know, we can give the gift of time to ourselves. We can give the gift of time to other people, those that we care about, those in our community, our neighbors, our friends, our family, obviously, those to our nearest and dearest. And if you've got a bit of time, don't forget that there are loads of podcasts. The Lizard Wellbeing Show is just jam packed. And my team have been really clever. I've got a fantastic producer, Anushka, I don't know if you're watching, but sending you a big heart. You've been amazing this year. And Ellie as well, helping me on the production side of the podcasts. And particularly in the run up to Christmas, we really carefully chose our guests to make them really expert for now. There's a brilliant psychologist, Lucy Beresford. I don't know if you listened to that, but she was fantastic and it was all about relationships and partly surviving Christmas with relationships, all kinds, but particularly with perhaps somebody that you're married to or that you're with permanently. And it taught me a lot, you know, and, and she was quite, um, she was quite personal actually you know when i do a podcast i'm used to being the interviewer and asking the questions and getting the information and she actually threw quite a few things back at me and we started talking about my relationships and what had worked in the past and what perhaps could have gone better which i found really helpful um, and actually my son messaged me after he listened to that and he said oh I, i've just listened to your podcast and i you know i never knew that about you and i didn't realize la 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 and he said, that's actually the first podcast you know I listened to and it was really good. Well, A, I said, what do you mean it's the first of your mother's podcasts? You listen to them all the time, don't you? Oh, yeah. Obvi obviously, obviously. You used to be part of the wellbeing team. Well, and she, yeah, yeah, no, no, she, she used to help. I mean, it was her idea, frankly, I was that we started to say, yeah, them. I started the podcast. I don't know whether you carried on listening, you know, when it's not work. <laughs> so, you know, once I got over the shock that actually he's only ever listened to one, but he was going to go and listen to more of them. He listened to the Lucy Beresford one. Which brother? Oh, which brother? You, the one, eldest. Three, the eldest. Oh, Number one. Yeah, the eldest. But, you know, he's busy working and, and he's probably thinking, oh, it's not a boy thing. But, you know, I try and make the podcast for everybody, for every age. I mean, obviously, our heartland here is, is midlife women like me. So if it's something that fascinates me, then it's likely to get onto the podcast. But it is really for everybody. They are podcasts that you can listen to with your family. You can be on your own. You can listen in the bath, in the car, you know, wherever you are while you're cooking. Great thing about a podcast, you don't have to watch like, you know, we're perhaps doing now. You can just have it on in the background. You can have your headphones on. You don't even need to be, you know, public with it. So wherever you are. And there's so much good information. Giles Yeo, Dr. Yeo, was brilliant recently talking all about calories and how we can hack into our metabolism, really useful in the run up to Christmas. Now, how is that doing, it's talking about done, calorie? Okay, brilliant, so bring it over here. So what we're gonna do now. I was gonna say, it's kind of like cooking, listening to your podcast, because I have my back to you, <laughs> just listening to you. <laughs> you could just hear me chat away. <laughs> okay, so this is all melted, this looks, I have to say, this looks really, really good. Looks you looks came really in good. just at the right time. Now, I'm gonna taste this because, actually, do you want to grab me another spoon just from mm -hmm. the drawer there so I don't have to double dip because I'll get into trouble for that. I've got some honey here. If you want to, you can sweeten it with a bit of honey. I don't have a very sweet tooth because I cut out refined sugars quite a while ago and I've kind of changed my taste buds. But let's just take a little um, taste of that and see. You see, I think that's fine. Um, you, I think, do you want to grab another spoon and you can tell me I think maybe, I'll pop a little bit of honey in here. What you don't want to do with honey, this is lovely local, local Wiltshire honey, but what you don't want to do is boil honey. So add it at the end, don't cook it with the well, milk. yummy. Do you think that's all right? I don't mm. think it, do you think it needs extra honey? I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but I know Let's, there will be others that will. Well, there will be others. Well, they can add their own flipping honey, okay? <laughs> but what I am going to add, and this is a game changer, if you've not done this to hot chocolate before, is a bit of sea salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know how you get like salted caramels? Mm -hmm. So adding a good grind of sea salt, I mean obviously not too much, you don't want to turn it into salt water. No. But just, that will dissolve really quickly. So let's grab another spoon. Yeah. And then I will I'm just, just taste that. Dip. I think we can probably double dip, can't we? Because we are family. Um, oh yeah. That just gives it that little edge. You know how salt is such a great flavouring? It flavours everything, oh, which is so why... Good. Isn't that good? That's really good. Excellent. So what I'm going to do 
is, I'm gonna pour that, I've got two mugs in anticipation. <laughs> and I was just saying earlier, actually, if you missed it, this is also really good cold. So if you or your kids yeah. like chocolate milk, and you're getting all the polyphenols from the dark chocolate, you're getting all the goodness of milk, and you're also getting low sugar, and you're not buying anything out of a packet. So if you want to try that, actually, they've got to do something else before, 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 because we're running up to the time when we go. I thought you might just like. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. I should, the, should, yeah. should I put, put it at a jaunty angle? Put it at a jaunty angle for me. Okay, and, and I, I have these. I thought, you know, I, I thought like they would yeah, yeah, actually, Elf, that's such a great Christmas such movie. Such a good one. I watched it the other day. Did you? We yeah. should watch that again. I like that. I also love all the old black and whites. Oh, do you? Yeah. My favourite like, like white is Christmas. Claws. What's, I don't think I've seen it. It's Claws. animated. It won loads of awards. British made animation studio. British really? animation studio won Claws. loads. Claws. Claws, spelled with a, yeah, a K. As in Santa Claus? Yes, it's mm -hmm. the original, well, not the, it's, it's a, st a story about... Claws. It's fantastic. It's so funny, oh. and it's great because there's lots of humour that, in my opinion, the adults will get, but will go over little ones' heads. Okay. So both. So on, on like all levels. All levels. Always yeah. looking for family movies because yeah. we do have a young one in the house still. So I'm quite. The other one cautious. is is Arthur Christmas. I love Arthur Christmas. And Hugh Laurie's one of the voices. Oh, who is he? The big brother who's oh, like in the Hugh command Laurie? centre. Yes. Who's all like burly? Yeah, that's Hugh Laurie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just to say, Solcum Dairy, you may not get it before Christmas if you do order their lovely chocolate and their, oh, all their yeah. lovely bars and everything, but the discount is still valid and it's more than I thought. Yeah, oh, it's 15%. Great. Yeah, 15%. And they have such lovely things. Um, I'm still enjoying their advent calendar, actually. So that is just about it for this year. Don't forget... Is this the, the last one of the year? Cheers, darling. Oh. I know, I'm sad. I know. Do make sure that you're subscribed to the magazine. We are literally this week, we're racing to the wire. We are printing the January issue. So do make sure you're subscribed to that. It's a bit different. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit different. Mm. The cover's a bit different. And it is so jam-packed. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about this new issue. It just feels like it's stepping into a whole new adventure and a whole new episode, a whole new chapter of Liz Our Wellbeing. So I'm really, really excited. That so great. Yeah, I've just got the cover proof actually on my desk. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, great. Um, but this is the current one. You can still get this. There's still time to get this. There's a digital version if you want it right now, or obviously you can subscribe. And actually, did you see the lovely post that Anthea did yesterday? Oh, no, I missed that. Oh, my goodness. I was so surprised. I don't know if you follow Anthea Turner, my lovely friend. She's so great. She's so She's great. So and, you know, I first worked with her at GMTV that 25 years ago. And... She gets my magazine, she's a subscriber, and literally, I did not ask her to do this. I hadn't, she didn't even tell me she was doing it. She did a whole post on her Instagram yesterday. Oh, great. Of pulling this out of her Christmas stocking and just going on and on about it, about all the things that she was making. She picked out the brown rice pudding with cinnamon and pears, and Ooh. I mean, she's such a star. You're probably not watching, Anthony. you're probably way too busy, but massive hearts. I love friends who are supportive and kind and you genuinely are and I love you very much so thank you um so yeah so take a look at that and uh, don't forget you can get the e-guides I know post office might not be working but the e-guides are working so if you'd like everything all your Christmas hacks ready for Christmas Eve Christmas Day Boxing Day New Year's Eve New Year's Day we've got it all to come and we're going to the panto we're going to the panto oh yes we are oh no we're not oh yes we oh, are oh no we're not <laughs> I just can't wait uh, it's been lovely it's been an amazing year thank you and uh, I'm not here next week um, when am I back with you let me see if I can see it on my notes I don't want to go actually I don't want to switch off we're having too much fun uh, but I do have to crack on. I've still got a few more questions to write. Um, not questions to write. <laughs> I was looking at questions here. <laughs> Christmas presents to wrap is what I actually meant. Uh, and probably some IOUs as well. But um, yeah, I will pop all the details in the caption and also of when we're back. But if we don't speak before, I will be obviously posting on my Instagram. So I will be speaking on that. But if we don't speak here before, have a very, very happy Christmas. Christmas. And a healthy new year. Lovely to see you. Oh, Amelia says, I've been following you for 32 years. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Tina, I feel like I've grown up with Liz. 
52 now, such a font of knowledge. Thank you. All the best to you. Lovely, 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 lovely to see your messages. Thank you. Bless you for that. Really, really kind. Really kind. Thank you for all your Christmas messages. Southwark Takeaway. I saw that. The Anthea Turner. Yeah, isn't she cool? Love it. Merry Christmas. We are going to have to go, but thank you. Massive hearts. Heart with mug. Heart with mug. Enjoy the hot chocolate. Make it and think of us and have a great time with your friends and your family. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.